Hey guys, before we start, I want to let you all know that I'm also streaming on Twitch almost every day. Uh, you can find me there drawing, giving tutorials or critique to anyone who needs it. And maybe watching me draw, maybe you will get a thing or two. We will find the link in the description below and I hope to see you all there. And now, let's get to the drawing. Now here for start, I'm gonna set off my boundaries as always. But with this one I had to go lower because Goku has a little bit of a hair problem. I mean, he has really big and nice hair. So I had to take the drawing down a notch into a smaller size and like bring it, you know, a little bit like more down on the paper. Just make sure not to draw the face or draw too long. And keep the sides of the head wide as they go up. Do not make them straight if you want to achieve the Dragon Ball like Goku feeling. I went for a really like, you know, like normal shape. My style, no big circle like Toriyama does. And you can adapt the head to the drawing if you want, like because of his features. Dragon Ball has kind of like special features, the way he draws them and everything. So you can adapt the head after you draw the features as well, if you see that the head doesn't fit and it's not nice, okay? So keep that in mind. Here as well, I'm just setting some lines here and there to be able to, you know, like plan my drawing. Now the nose. The nose of Goku usually, in Dragon Ball style basically, they don't have nostrils usually drawn, but they have that shadow on the side going under the nose. And it's usually like Deku close to the eyes. But the Dragon Ball style usually has their mouth really close to the nose, as you can see. And also the mouth has that underlip line, kinda always drawn. Now, I did my own style of mouth, so you can do as well. Uh, but make sure it's gonna be a little bit close or really close to the nose to keep, you know, the nice Dragon Ball feature and make it appear as, you know, as you want, as how you want it to look. There, I just did a slight line to be able to tell where the, the eye will end, kinda. Now the eyebrows, tilted lines, you know, maybe a bit curvy as well with a little, like, the detail at the end, you can either, you know, draw it yourself or not. It's basically up to you, but it's nice that, like, the shape of it. The eye always has that small curve. When the eye, like, starts from the eyebrow, there's always that curvy line there at the start. If you want to add the complete curve at the side of the eye, it's up to you. If you don't, it's still fine because you will see how I fix it later, which after I fix it, I prefer it. The eyes as well, the inside, they're usually kind of like they're drawn really close to each other instead of like really in the middle like other ones. And also Dragon Ball might be the only style that there's no third eye in between the two eyes like other styles because the eyes are too big as well. I fixed the, the chin as you saw to make, to, I adapted the head to the drawing as I told you to make it, you know, look better. And some details at the end of the eyebrow which is totally always up to you. Now for the hair. The hair there, the front hair, you know, like the hair that falls into his face, they're always, I mean, depending on which, you know, version you're drawing, but usually it's like four parts. So it's this part that starts like from above the one eye, not the middle, before the middle. So at the quarter of it, at the first part of it, and it goes straight to the other side with one going over the sideburns and then this side, the right side, as you can see, it's one again falling completely down with a little curve and then another one to mimic, you know, to imitate like the other side, basically. You can see that they're like only the middle part kind of differentiates from the rest of this, you know, frontal hair. Pretty big ears for the Dragon Ball, I would say. Like he likes to draw really big ears, so I decided to stick with it because it's in the style in my opinion. The details, because the, the ears are bigger, you can add more details and that's nice. And the cheekbones. The cheekbones, you saw that I did those little lines there. So those are always there to determine where the cheekbones and the cheek basically is. And it gives a really nice feel to it. I really like it. Uh, and there are many ways you could do it as well. Find your own way, be creative, do what you like. But if you do it, it's gonna look really, really nice. Ear details as well as you saw, you can do your own thing and like try to, you know, try to experiment with the ears or learn how to do normal ear like design. That would be nice as well because it has big ears so it gives you the freedom to do that. Now the hair. I started by doing those two lines at the same time to, you know, like 
make it even. And then I do this diagonal line from the from under the ear, a bit tilted towards one side to make space to make the the shape of the hair, you know, like fine. So that's what I did. And he always has three chunks, three bangs, three bangs, three parts of hair here. Talking about the latest design in the Broly movie, of course. So keep in mind that then, as you can see, follow the curve of the head as I did here. And then around the middle of the head, you will start the next part of the hair. You will always like start the next part. You go straight up and then you slowly curve it to one side. I mean, to that side that it's falling. You go down. You can see now that it's kind of in the middle of the head, basically. And now the more you go to the left, I mean, drawing the other parts, they will, you know, slowly go further down and down. This one, the second one of this side is always kind of the biggest. And I think you should make it the biggest because it gives the shape of Goku that everyone knows, kinda. At least in the latest designs. If you don't do it, you will see maybe he's gonna be a bit different. So try and see for yourself. Then the third one, the underline of it is longer than the upper line because I think he always tries to keep the hair floating kinda and not like falling too much. When they fall too much, it doesn't look like Goku. So try to keep that in mind that his hair is like, has this solid shape. You can add this once or not, it's up to you. The last part though, that fourth one at the left, it's, it's going higher than the other side, as you can see. It's more like a spiky that goes straight up instead of falling, having that little curve like the other side. And as you can see, kinda, at both sides, it's the, it's the sides that are extended the most, kinda. Especially at the, at the side with the three parts, you can see that he, like, it's the middle one that extends the most. On the four part hair, none of the hair extends more than the other. It kinda has more harmony in between them. You could kinda draw a whole like circle, not circle, but you know, a curved line connecting them because you have to make them, give them that harmony, you know, like to look like natural, even though it's totally, you know, fantasy. Now here's what I was talking about the eyes. As you can see, I fixed them here. I did the small curve at the top but then I brought the eye kind of straight, either straight down or I took the line, I brought the line a little bit on the inside of the head. And that actually made it, to me, it made it more like Goku when I saw it. When, when I did it, when I was having my references, when I was watching through all my references, it, it I don't know, it, it kind of felt like something that I should have done to have that feeling of Goku like more because of his character. I think Goku is probably one of the one of the best characters like his appearance matches like his personality so much so much and it's something that is not really talked about in general about like about protagonists and characters and I just feel it's a shame because yeah the the authors really do put a lot of effort into making the character bringing their personality and their type let's say out but people don't seem to care about that much like about that thing so much where you actually should because it can it's like when you're watching you know like an abstract painting and it gives you feelings i mean to some people it's the same with these characters you can tell sometimes the character how what he is just by his looks Especially Bakugo. Like Bakugo was like when you saw him, his design as well, you already knew what type of person he was. So yeah, keep that in mind when you're drawing your own characters as well to do that because that's absolutely like a really cool thing to do in my opinion. And I always, I like to speak about that, I like to talk about that and I like also to draw it when I'm doing my own characters. I really like that. Now. As you, you were seeing here, like I wasn't really drawing anything, I was just like feeling the hair, like making some lines like bigger, whatever. You will see which lines I will, like usually the lines that I do thicker are the lines that I want people like to focus on, but also I make thicker lines sometimes when it's, it's a, there's supposed to be shadow there. If, if that's like 
something that goes behind the neck. Like I'm gonna make those lines thicker because thicker means more black there and it will look like, not a shadow, but it would, it will give that faint feeling that it's covered by the neck, for example. You will see in the inking now. The inking is gonna be super fast just for you to enjoy. Anyway, hope you enjoy the tips that I gave you guys. If you want anything else, if you need like, you know, some specific tips about Goku or someone else, be sure to let me know in the, in the comments down below. I'll do my best to answer to everyone and also see what everyone has to say and all this stuff. And, you know, I hope you enjoy these tutorials that I've been making. Really hope you enjoy them. Anyway, so now let's get back to the... Oh, now really like some details. Like these details, I cannot really explain them on a how to draw a specific anime character because it's gonna be, it's gonna be like, you know, like going into a different direction. And I feel that I could like talk about, could make a whole new video about this specific like, you know, like stuff, which I will be making in the future for sure. But that's the thing. Now I'm fixing here, I'm making his head a bit n more narrow because I think I overdid it, especially from that side and I'm preparing him to get inked now. So as you can see, I'm doing all this, these lines that I've been telling you guys to do, like, you know, make some thicker lines here and there. It makes the drawing really like pop out, you know, you can see like, it looks much, much stronger now. It came out like perfectly now. It's like, I'm kind of like happy with it. And now enjoy the inking, hope you like it. I enjoyed inking this one actually, I really enjoyed it. Now let's talk a little bit about Goku. Like Goku, his designs, as I was telling before, like everything makes sense, like the big round eyes to his personality. As you can see, like many characters that are like lively and really like, you know, in that type of character, they always have like big, like curvy eyes and bright personalities and you know, like stuff like that, like Naruto, for example, Goku. Then you have Deku as well, which, yeah, okay, Deku is way more smart than both of them, but it's that timid personality, kinda. That cheerful, kinda good personality, good person, good personality, timid, you know, all this stuff that they could vary, of course, but it's, it's an appearance that kinda blends in with that, like, easier, basically. Now you can see all the details that I was mentioning in the comments and in the in the tips that I was giving you guys. You can see all the details now here with the, with the ink. Remember all the stuff that I was telling you, like the hair, now this side that I'm drawing, that it's kind of, you know, it, it's falling like slowly together, but also it's keeping that, you know, up flow there. It never goes away. They never fall like completely. And here that the middle one is always the one that extends the most. The, the middle one out of, you know, those three like parts of hair. Keep that in mind, that's actually a really important thing for that side of Goku. And you can see now the eyes that I fixed, that how the line is going. It kind of has, even the underline, you know, of the of the eye, it has that tilted, it, it goes a bit like it down below, like it, it does, it's not completely straight. Like in Dragon Ball Super, that line was completely straight. But in the, in the Broly movie, it wasn't, so I like to, I, I, I preferred that one. I don't know. It kind of made more sense to me. And that, that design from the Broly movie, I don't know. It just, it was perfect for Goku. It was actually like on point. It was so perfect for him. I felt like that design made Goku like in his, it's like they perfected him. That design absolutely matched his personality and everything. I loved, I loved that movie. That movie was uh, was amazing. If you haven't watched it, please do. It's an amazing movie. You get a really good idea of who Goku really is, especially who he is right now after all these years of you know adventuring and all these fights he's been through and all these developments and all this whatever. Like even in series, but also out of series as a style, how he grew, like how they changed and all that stuff. Like it's it's just amazing. And I think they finally caught. The, the true essence of Goku and like put it into a design and they managed to, you know, like give the best, like, you know, like make the best out of the design as well, but also the character. So I really like that movie as well because of that. So here you go, guys. This is Goku, Song Goku from Dragon Ball. Hope you enjoy this. I enjoyed my time drawing this and learning about him actually and like studying him a little bit about this stuff because I, I, I wasn't drawing Dragon Ball up to, like, to be honest, I started drawing when I was six years old when I was when I watched Dragon Ball, but then I picked other styles, so I never really drew Dragon Ball after that. 
and it's kind of funny that I came back to it. And the funny thing is that I really enjoyed it. I was like, maybe it has to do something with nostalgia, but I really enjoyed like going back to it. So hope you guys enjoy this as much as I did, of course. Hit me down in the comments below. Uh, you can like the video, share with your friends as well. And I'm also open for comments. Like if you want to comment like who you want next and what you want next, if you want something different, let me know and I'll see what I can do. Until then, I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye. Keep your passion lit. Like for example, Boku no Hiro has a specific way he draws the hands. He does them more square-ish and more blocky, if you noticed. And that is one of his styles. I would like to see that in your drawings as well. Not the same style, but I would like to see you exploiting a style for the, for the hands, the hands and the feet as well as spreading that line work and line art of the hair and face spreading it throughout the whole body and then we can see about the next step but that's that's what i would i would tell you for now yeah